I'm gonna show you one of my favorites. It's coconut pancakes with a delicious mango salsa. Do you wanna do a long-winded one as well or no? No. <laughs> All right, let's start with the mango salsa because we want it to sort of get jiggy with the lime juice. I'm starting off with, this is a non-centrifugal sugar. <laughs> I've just learned what non-centrifugal is, which is there's water that is evaporated out of the cane sugar, right? That's what it means, non-centrifugal type of sugar. Anyway, this is jaggery. Use that sugar because it's interesting. It tastes delicious. And to that, we're gonna add some lime zest. I'm gonna use the Andy Allen method of zesting a lime today. Where is Andy? I miss Andy. Me too. In the bowl. Done. Squeeze, roll, rolly, squeezy. Dumb question. Yeah. Is this a breakfast or a dessert? Whoa. Multi-million dollar question. Or is it actually a snack? Or is it when you're feeling down in the dumb? So perhaps a little melancholy. I'm uh, gonna have it as a snack after you finish it. I think it's an any time of day kind of pancakes. It's a great breakfast pancake. The good thing about this is the mango salsa, which we're making first, it's delicious. It kind of freshens it up to the point where it could be a dessert quite easily. But you know what, something like this for breakfast? Turn the lights out, come on. Come on. Come on. All right, so lime juice into the jaggery because it'll melt the jaggery, right? Into that, we're gonna add a little bit of ginger. I've got some diced mangoes, super easy. A couple of lemon segments, because we're kicking around in the fridge. Lemon, orange, orange segments, please, orange segments. Black sesame seeds, yum. And some toasted, coconut and what you're gonna have is a delicious mango salsa ready to go on top of your pancakes let's have a little taste yes it is love that and we'll start making the pancakes so two bowls we need one of them we're going to mix our flour in so i've got two flours a normal one and a coconut flour a pinch of salt Good pinch of salt, a little bit more. And baking powder, more jaggery, just a little bit. And just mix these guys together so as the baking powder is incorporated all the way through the two different flours. Fresh bowl, I've got some milk, I've got one egg, I've got some vanilla, I'm just using like a vanilla paste. If you want to use fresh vanilla, if you can afford it. Fresh vanilla, someone's doing all right. Yeah. And then a little bit of melted butter. Grab a whisk. Give it a mixy mix. Let's make sure that egg is beaten really well into the mix. Now, coconut, almost forgot. I like to use, there's a one called, believe it or not, moist coconut. Would you believe it? Moist coconut's actually called that. It's really good because it's not dry. Still can't believe there's a thing called moist coconut. Anyway, now a little bit extra lime juice in your pancake mix is actually gonna activate the baking powder a little bit better and it's also gonna sour the milk, which is a good thing. So it kind of makes it almost buttermilky. Great for the texture. Banana, one of be rough it doesn't have to be exact here because it's going to go inside the pancake now we're going to bring the dry and the wet ingredients together so little hole in the middle wet ingredients in we'll drop our bananas in don't overwork this pancake mix or it won't be light and fluffy it'll be dense and horrid so it should be sort of you know dropping consistency gorgeous now a lot of people will put butter in here. Honestly, you're using just a fraction just to grease the bottom of the pan. Watch me make a mess of this. I should have had a, like a big spoon. Here's a big spoon here. So here's a big spoon. You're the professional. I don't think I am that professional, us. to be honest. All right, here we go. All right, while that's cooking, I'm gonna get a little bit of fresh mint, not too much, just a couple of leaves. And generally speaking, I put the mint in as late as possible because the lime just 
makes the, the mint leaves go brown. So you want to chiffon at it so as fine as you possibly can. Here's my uh, table wiggling again. Hey, how hard is it to stop the table from rocking and do a beautiful chiffon at the same time? I'll never know. I'm getting calf cramp. Aren't they your strongest muscles, darling, your calves? A hundred percent. Have you seen the size of them? They're massive. I think it's a genetic disorder. Thanks for uh, bringing it to everyone's attention, mate. It's my favourite breakfast, easily. Pancakes what? or crepes? Pancakes? Or crepes. I've never made you pancakes. Oh, we yeah. have. <laughs> it's like, I get crepes. I make you crepes a lot. But I've never made you pancakes. Are you sure? Wrong husband? No. I go to pancakes. That's my go-to for the kids. because You easier. go to pancakes? When? It wasn't that long ago. It wasn't very good. I actually did a... <laughs> I followed a Jamie Oliver recipe and it was oh, yeah. one cup, one cup, one cup or something like yep. that. It didn't work. It didn't work. Alfie rejected the pancakes. Do you want me to send him a message? No. All right. This is not a pancake that you can do like one of those com comedy pancake flips, right? You need to use uh, that. So just in very gently around the edge. And then, oh God. I thought I was gonna screw that up for sure, but it didn't, look at it. Low heat, caramelization, five minutes. Flip it over, that's what it should look like. Pancake's ready. It goes on your plate. Salsa, over the top, a little bit. You don't need to go crazy. A little bit of the juicy McJuice. And that's it. My light, fluffy coconut pancakes with mango salsa. Is it breakfast? Is it a snack? Is it afternoon tea? I don't know, you decide. Thanks for watching, and if you like that, please click subscribe because there's plenty more where that came from. Also, if there's a recipe that you actually want to see me make, chuck it in the comments below and we'll get around to it. Thanks for watching.